Isaac was going through a very difficult time right here. Isaac's mother, whom he loved, had just died. And he was very down, very broken, very depressed. And at the end of this chapter, only a few verses later, Isaac finds his wife, the new love of his life, and everything is great. But what happened in the in-between, between his darkness and his depression, and God giving him a blessing and light? What got him out of that darkness into the light? What got him there? Well, it says this. And Isaac came from the way of the well of Lahai Roai, for he dwelt in the south country. And as he's coming, that's where he came upon his new wife. But why does it mention that he came past the well or the way of the high Roi? Why does it mention that? So, see, as, as a teacher, I ask myself these questions. Why do I have to mention the well? Who cares? Well, the name of the well, the high Roi, means he who sees God will live. So when he was in the darkest time of his life and he didn't know what was going to come ahead of him and he had a journey to make, not knowing what was going to be the end of the journey, the blessing was going to be at the end of the journey, something on the inside of him said, you better drink from the well of Lohai Roai. You better stop and be reminded that he who sees God will live. Church, we need to go by the way of this well. We need to see God for who he is. We need to see Jesus as not just some teacher who was a good person and said good things. We need to see him where he says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, I am Lord, I am maker of heaven and earth, I am the God of gods and the King of kings, and there is no one but me. We need to see God. And if you see God for who he is, not who the world says he is, if you see God for who he is, you'll live.